Howdy y'all, it's Carolina Shore Fishing here with you today and we are going to go over the two best ways to catch Spanish mackerel from the piers. If you're fishing from the Carolinas, there's a very high likelihood that you're going to run into either of these methods being used and that's simply because they produce fish. So let's get to it. I'm using 40 pound fluorocarbon leader here. Usually I start with a higher pound uh, test and then if that's not working, I drop down in a test there you can use mono as well they both work just as good uh, sometimes fluoro gets a little bit of an advantage because of its visibility underwater but either will work for you so on my main line i have 20 pound braid and to attach the leader to the main line i use an albright knot it's really easy to do very quick and if you guys would like for me to show you some of these knots i do plan to in a future video so like I said earlier, I'll start at about 40 pounds and then if I need to drop down, the lowest I'll go to is about 15 pounds. And what I'm going to be using this with is a gotcha lure. It is a plug that has been created here in North Carolina and it is absolutely phenomenal for catching Spanish off the pier. It has wonderful action. It walks like a dog across the water and the Spanish and bluefish just cannot let it go. I've even caught flounder on it. So I just use a simple clinch knot to tie it on. It's really easy to do. I know a lot of people that use the loop knot and I'm going to experiment with that soon. So I can't speak on it just yet. So there are a couple of good ways to work a gotcha lure. You cast it out and start yanking it and cranking it like you see me doing here. And the other way you could do it is let it slowly sink, maybe hit the bottom, maybe get to, you know, a foot from the bottom and pop it back up and then let it slowly sink again. And both of them produce fish. I tend to get bit off a lot by popping it up and down and letting it sink on that sink they come and hammer it so you've got to be on them here you can see i had one come and hit it let go and then i started playing with it on the top there popping it up and down to get that last bite i don't know which line i'm on okay so i got the spanish yeah he's coming out And sometimes when the bite is really hot, you will get a strike right when that lure hits the water, just like this. I saw him. I saw him come up for it. A big Spanish, I hope. Oh, yeah. Whoa, it came up? No, no. Wait, no, is that a big blue? No, it's a big Spanish. I saw him come and hit it right as soon as... Here, I'm sorry about this tangle. Very nice. And here's a look at just bouncing the gotcha lure up and down vertically. Big jelly here earlier about that big around. So if you ask me, gotcha plugging off the pier is one of my favorite types of fishing to do. There's nothing that beats seeing that fish come up on the top of the water, strike your lure, and if they're large enough, start pulling drag. Oh, it doesn't get better than that. Oh man, that's my biggest Spanish ever. Can you grab a net? Or should I just bring them up? I guess. Please don't shake it, please don't shake it. Oh, yes. So last couple things I want to mention about the gotcha lure are a few tips here. The first one being bring extra gotcha lures than you think you'll need. If the fish are biting, you will lose some gotcha lures. They miss the gotcha all the time. Multiple fish come to hit it and will hit the leader. 
So make sure to check your leader between fish and between hits to make sure that it's not frayed and retie as necessary. That's going to save you a lot of gotcha lures. The second tip here is to make sure that your attachment knot for your uh, leader to your main line sits outside of your guides when you're casting. If you pull it in through your guides and cast it, it's going to rub and it is going to break. And you'll send your gotcha lure flying. There's a distinct sound what? that it makes too, so everyone's going to know. You see how far it's slung? So the second best way to catch mackerel off of a pier is using a mackerel tree. This is a type of sabiki, generally with four to six hooks on there, and a diamond jig or a casting spoon on the bottom. And so this mimics a school of fish going through the water. Most people jig this up and down while reeling it in, and a lot of people in South Carolina will do what's called rod rocking and keep it stationary and just vertically jig it up and down at the pier. And both of these ways are great ways to stack up fish. You can double, triple, quadruple up on fish using this method. So a lot of people do enjoy it for that reason. It's really cheap to tie. You can use straws, you can use airline tubing, that sort of thing, and uh, make a really nice mimicking lure. So I usually tie my mackerel trees with 40 to 60 pound mono or fluorocarbon and I'll start with about 6 to 8 feet of line. I'll start with tying on my diamond jig or casting spoon. This is a sting silver 1.6 ounce something around that and I'll use just a normal clinch knot. And then about a foot above that I'll start with my overhand loop knot except unlike this picture we're going to add three twists which are just those normal dropper loops that we tie for bottom rigs and you do that about every 8 to 12 inches and you can do as many as you'd like so if I'm going to fish it with a casting spoon and cast it then I'm going to put about two to three on there if I'm just going to fish it vertically like they do in South Carolina then I'm going to put like five, six of them on there. And I like to use strong either silver or gold J-hooks for this. And any color straw will work for this. You'll see I have some of them cut too long, so I cut slits through them. That will decrease the amount of fish that you can catch on them, but I do kind of like the action on them. So it's up to you. You can just cut them short to the length that you need to slip them over your uh, shaft of the hook, or you can cut that slit into them. And threading them over the loop is really simple. You're going to pinch that loop that you made, stick that pinch then through the hook eye loop, and then pull that loop over the entire hook, and then pull it tight. And now you're all set ready to fish this. So like I said, you can either cast it out and pop it off of the bottom, jigging it up and down, reeling it in, or you can vertically jig it right at the pier. 
both of these methods are going to put you on fish, so choose whichever you'd like and have some fun out there. Alright, I hope you guys learned something this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button, subscribe, leave us a comment down below. It really does help. And let me know, which of these methods do you enjoy using the most off of the pier? Happy fishing, everyone.